In our Singapore bus enthusiast community, one activity we love to do is joyride buses. However, it's not just about joyriding. From learning about the history of past bus routes to passing by its local landmark and unique bus routes, and to get to know more about particular bus services. Welcome to Discovery Buses in Singapore. In this episode of Discovery Buses in Singapore, we will bring you into a buses in the normal two estate in Singapore. Normal two estates are neighborhood estates less than 20 years old, like Ishun, Sembawang, Bukit Bato, and so on. So today, DME will bring you three different places in Singapore as a normal two estate. First stop in the north, we are in Canberra. Coming to seven years since, the estates in Canberra have kept growing till today, and so does the ridership of service AA3, the first bus service in Canberra. Since the introduction, service AA3 has covered a rather well section of Canberra estate. Since the introduction, the demand increased from Mercedes-Benz OC500 LE to double-deckers in the following year. Today, Service 47 was amended to the other side of Canberra, which was supposed to be the actual good since the planning introduction in late 2015. Although it is a small neighbourhood town, the ridership of these two bus services is still increasing. Next stop, we are in Pungol again. In the last 20 years, we have seen that Pungol is a rapid neighbourhood town in Singapore with many HDB flats around. And so does the introduction of bus services over the years before the launch of the HDB BTO estates. From only a handful of bus services in the past to a total of 19 bus services in the estate. With the upcoming Pungol North ITH and Sunset East to replace the current Pungol interchange, there will be a massive revamp of the existing bus services in Pungol. As times goes by with an increasing population in the neighbourhood, the bus services, especially feeder services, will go even more with the upcoming Pongo Coast North East Line and to cross island line stations, Rivera and Pongo. As for buses, we can't wait to see the enormous changes in the bus services in the Pongo neighbourhood network. Now, you can't tell that Pongo is a big town, but does it a considerable town as Tampines? Okay, fine. Tampines is considered a mature estate due to current amenities and facilities with the current age in Singapore. But Tampines North is a different town instead of being part of the Tampines family. It all started with Service 68 in the neighborhood 5 years ago. Today, there are a total of 6 bus services in the neighborhood. With more estates coming up, Tampines North will see up to 10 bus services total which might be more than expected. As the RTA plan to minimize the bus services in Tampines Central, Tampines North is twice more significant as Canberra with Cross Island Line, Tampines North and a future integrated transport hub combined. Over the years, public buses played their part in serving these new HTV BTO estates in Singapore. With more good amendments of the existing bus services, they introduced new bus routes. It brings how big the new BTO estate is and how the demand will cope the neighbourhood in town. Are you living in any non-mature HTB estates? Especially, as we mentioned in this episode, leave a comment down below. As for the admin, I'm living in a non-mature estate. Try and guess it! Thank you for watching this episode of Discovery Buses in Singapore. Leave a like, comment and subscribe. I'm used to staying with you